Hello, welcome to an unboxing and first impressions of the Stedler Mars Technica 780C clutch pencil and the complimentary Mars Carbon HB LEDs. I needed a second clutch pencil to use as a thick line while I used my first one as a thin line to give some depth to my drawings. I called the video an unboxing, but I am just removing the simple package here. There you go, the unboxing's done. Here it is, my first experience of holding this pen, so it feels sleek and well made. It feels very thin and somehow even in my big hands it feels just right. It feels very comfortable to hold. At the back of the clutch pencil the clip has lead grade markings on it. So I can use various leads with this pencil and set the appropriate marker for the contained lead. The gradings on the clip are marked as H, HB, B, 2B, 4B, 2H and 4H and red and blue. I only use 2H and HB as recommended in drafting books. I intend to use this Stedler as a thick line pencil with the HB leads while my other pencil will be a thin line pencil with 2H leads. I'm going to show you the Mars lead inside this pencil. I noticed something different with Stedler leads and it's that when you look closely at the lead you can see that there's grooves in the lead. I don't know what the reason is for these grooves but they make the lead seem interesting. You can get a closer look against my bright hand I looked around on the Stedler website to see what these lead grooves are about, but I couldn't find anything anywhere. One thing I did find however is how much Stedler brags about how robust and break resistant these leads are. I'm not joking right now, I've never had a lead break so many times as much as this pencil did. Every time I tried using it or sharpening it, it would break under some pressure, while the Faber-Castell leads were quite tough most of the time. Maybe I'm pressing or testing the pencil too hard. I'll have to have a prolonged use with it before I can give a final judgement. Something I really like about this pencil is the textured grip section. It's grooved out and feels good to hold and draw lines with. Overall the pencil is very nice to hold and I'm happy to get to use it. Here I'll show a rough example of drawing lines with it so that you can see what it's like. I'm pressing quite firmly when I draw the lines. It seems to be able to handle the pressure. I'm holding the pencil at an angle to test how strong it is under firm but normal drawing conditions. And it seems to be able to hold up against the pressure. I happen to have a Stedler lead pointer tub. This should be perfect for a Stedler clutch pencil, right? Well see for yourself. The Stedler pencil struggles at first in the Stedler tub, but eventually it gets going. This wasn't the only time I sharpened with it however. After this, I sharpened again and when I tried to use it to draw, it broke so many times. It's as if the pencil is incompatible with its own sharpener brand, which I find very strange. And now for the Stedler Mars Carbon LEDs. The lead box has an interesting mechanism. Well, it might look interesting, but I actually just find it annoying, but other people might enjoy this sliding clicker mechanism. I guess it protects your leads quite well. Here's a close up view of the leads for you to soak in. A few seconds ago you might have noticed a black piece drop out when I opened the lead box. I'm just testing to see if this mysterious object is a sharpener. After a few twists of the lead with no resistance, 
I can confirm that this object is not a sharpener. There is a sharpener in the end cap of the pencil itself. Many of you might have known this about the Stedler clutch pencil. Here I'm testing how good it is. Is it even worth using? I feel a satisfying resistance inside the cap. I can feel the lead grinding away. See the lead? It looks a bit funny. It looks okay. This process makes quite a mess though. I wouldn't use the end cap sharpener unless I had no choice. Getting all this lead powder on your drawings would be a nightmare. Your drawing would be a write-off if you're not careful. You know that mysterious black object? I think it might be a secondary end cap. See here when I put it on, it seems to fit perfectly in place and function as an end cap. I'm not 100% sure if this is what it is or if this is how it's supposed to be used. It's a bit strange to have a spare end cap. I like the silver cap better and I won't use it anyway unless I'm outside and happen to be without a sharpener. By the time you're watching this video, I've already used the pencil a bit. My honest opinion about this pencil is that I like holding the pencil and getting to use it, but I'm surprised at how the pencil struggles with its own brand of tub sharpener. I sharpen the Faber-Castell clutch pencil in the Stedler tub all the time and have never had the lead break or much difficulty in resistance. I'm also suspicious of the quality of the leads. I don't think they're as good as Stedler wants you to believe. I'll give them this much though and speculate that maybe I'm just not using them right. I need to work with this pencil a bit more before I decide if I like it or not. I prefer the feel of holding this pencil, but I prefer the Faber-Castell for practical use, for now. I'll be using both pencils in future drawing projects and will come out with a conclusion later down the road. As for yourself, if you want to buy it, go ahead. Because I already said that I like the feel of the pencil, I like holding it and I like using it. If the leads are not good, then I can change the leads. That way I'll have a pencil that I like to hold and will work as well as I need it to. I'll show you some examples of me using the pencil to make some marks here. And you can see clearly that it's elegant to use. And you can see I have mixed feelings. So on that note, I've given my first impressions. I'll use it some more and perhaps make a Stedler pencil versus Faber-Castell pencil video.